Hey guys, I'm Geosphere, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this amazing looking minimalistic social media rotator, which I believe is the best looking social media rotator on Twitch in general. So you can't really see it up here very well where I have my mouse. So let's go ahead and move to a different screen just so I can kind of show it off to y'all. So as you see, it will rotate from the Twitter, YouTube, I believe Facebook, Discord, and Instagram. And I think TikTok as well. So as you see, it's really, really cool looking. Very, very small. Very, very not intrusive. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our other screen here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to join the Stream Elements Discord. I will also post a link to this overlay in the description below as well. But I do have permission to use this and make this video by Brecci, the creator of this widget. So we're going to go ahead and go into the Stream Elements Discord. We're going to go to the widget chair. We're going to then go to the socials showcase. You'll say get it for a ride here. And then the arrow, you'll just click on that link and it'll bring it up on the stream elements. And then as you see, I have a whole bunch of other overlays, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go to the socials showcase by Brecci. We're going to hit edit. All right, then we're going to go into the layers and then the settings. Now with this activation, you want to show it on load. I type, I put in no chat command. You could always do the socials. Um, I don't have this with yes, because that is a command. I don't want that on a command. So then automatically appear every X minutes. So you can either set it to, I think a max of 10 or 30, maybe even 60 minutes. Or you can set it to be looping on the page, which is perfect for something like a starting soon screen. Perfect for something like a be right back screen or intermission screen. So I have mine on a loop. So then we go down here to the customization. You can pick the background color if you want it to be transparent, which is kind of what mine is. For the most part, you can pick the font color. I really, really dig the white font color. So then you could pick the font. You could pick the idle time. So I have mine set to five, which I think is five seconds, which I feel like is the perfect amount of time for somebody to look at the screen and say, okay, this guy's YouTube is GS fear before it moves on to the next social media. But then the next one right here is going to be the social networks. Now the Twitter name, the YouTube name, the discord name, the Instagram name, the TikTok name, and the Facebook name. Now, I don't have TikTok or Facebook. And if you leave these blank, you do absolutely have to come down here to the order and switch these off to empty if you don't have those. Because otherwise, it's just going to show up as whichever one that you don't have. It'll just say, for example, TikTok. It won't give anything else any more information. It'll just say TikTok. So you have to make sure that you type or put in for the empty right here. It's just like a little pull down bar here. So then you don't really need the support and all that. You can always contact them on Twitter if you do need to contact them for any problems. But honestly, I haven't had to contact him at all to get him to fix any with this, anything with this, because it is just it's perfect how it is very minimalistic and and really perfect honestly so then the fields doesn't really matter nothing really changes there so then we'll just hit save and then you'll come back over here to your discord and then i have mine for the socials so then you'll just type in the properties or you'll put go into the properties after you add it as a browser source and you'll put in the size of it and that's honestly it guys that is honestly it it is an incredible incredible tool it's very lightweight, very minimal, and it just looks freaking incredible. And it will really improve your stream tenfold. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found this content to be enjoyable or helpful. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do want to remind y'all, I do stream on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 p.m. EST to about 11.30, 12 p.m. EST. Thank you all so much. I will catch y'all next time.